Yes, people. So we're out and about again. Today we're in Canary Wharf. And yes, I've got my tripod with me. So we're going to be doing some long exposures. And yeah, pretty much some of the river. Obviously we're by the river. And then I want to be doing some of like buses or traffic and stuff like that. So get some light streets going on. So yeah, man, stay tuned. It's going to be a two part because once I've done with the tripod, I want to walk around and get some just candid shots as well. So make sure you stay for this one. And then the next one, soon come make sure you watch that as well but well, you'll be getting updates and all that but yeah let's get into it okay yeah so i'm just doing a just doing a um time lapse which you'll probably see before this anyway but um just to give a little intro give the video some vibes in it so basically yeah so Little time lapse settings. Right there, there. Yeah, so I see that boat right there. I'm gonna try basically do a long, you see the view there. So I'm gonna try to do a light, uh, long exposure and then see how it comes out with that boat pass. But um, yeah, right here we've got, we've got a filter. I got this filter a while ago and basically I got the wrong size. Um, I can't remember what size it is, but I thought I read it wrong in it pretty much and I couldn't send it back. So now I'm just stuck with it. <laughs> so when I'm doing my when I'm doing my long exposures, I pretty much gotta pull it in front and hold it there in it. And then save it's like a 30 second one or one minute one. I've just gotta hold it there for as long as I need to in it. But I've got used to it now. It's what it is until I get a lens that fits this size. Then yeah, so I've got I forgot to mention as well, you've got to use the remote, so pretty much what you do, you stick this remote inside there. Let me show you see it. So you stick the remote in there and then you turn it on obviously. And then pretty much this what this allows is so when you're doing a picture, you're not moving the camera because any slight movement would literally mess it up and make it blurry in it. So you want to just have this remote push it in see you push it in look you take the picture but then if you if you go for a long exposure so say see i make it like five seconds obviously i'm gonna have the filter on it and then you hold it and then boom so now it's doing it for five seconds see like that obviously it's gonna come out blurry but yeah so you do that with a filter on with a Go on and then that's how you get your shots. Or that's how I get my shots. Yeah, so I've been up for a couple of minutes. I'm just trying to play about with the settings. But yeah, sometimes it takes a while to get like the correct balance between the shutter speed, the F stop, F stop and the ISO in it. And then plus also this has different levels on it. So it's got different levels of like how dark it goes. So I don't know if you can see it. You can see the little so but yeah, so you just gotta literally play about with it until you find that right exposure. And then when you find the right exposure, you just keep on doing your thing till you get the picture you want. All right, so I've been trying for a little bit. Um, the shot looks all right, but pretty much, I feel like I'm too far and there hasn't been a boat, an Uber boat in a while. So yeah, I'm gonna move on. Sometimes you just gotta know when to move on and I was trying to force it. But um, yeah, I'll show you, you can see. But yeah, I've put the proper one up once it's edited on the screen in it but yeah i'm gonna keep it moving move around and yeah let's see different angles Adjust the legs. Adjust the legs so you're getting the balance right. Yeah, that right there. So let's try this angle here. Get 
out its mud. <laughs> but yeah, let me try to go back to this. I was so I saw the boat, I took my opportunity. So I need to sort this chest thing out car. Let's do the battles. Get used to it, but I get used to it. But yeah, the angle is that pretty much. Times like this, I probably wish I had my 105. It might have worked out better. But we work with this variable. Yeah, so I've got a 24 to 70 on. If I didn't say that already. Yeah, as it gets darker, so this is a learning curve for me. <laughs> I mean, I already knew it, but you just forget. But yeah, I don't even need a filter, so yeah, I'm gonna put it away and just work with the work with the natural darkness. Obviously, because I started in the day in it, where I kind of needed it. So now I don't really need it, which is much easier for me. And I put my hand free. And yeah. Yeah, here's a better view because sometimes the GoPro is not the best angle. So just see, this is the one. I've got 10 seconds, F8, ISO 100. So I literally, let's just wait the 10 seconds. And you can see. So the angle is looking all right still. It's looking all right. One, two retouch, you know what I mean? But yeah, we just keep on working with it. I see an Uber boat pulling up. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try to get that angle again. <laughs> that first one was mad though. <laughs> so it's looking all right, so it's looking all right. So basically, yeah, I see an Uber boat there now. So I'm pretty much trying to get my settings perfect. So when it comes, it should be, you know what I mean, looking pucker. But I need to change my battery in it, so hopefully it lasts. All right, so it's about to come now. I need to quickly finish this picture. It's looking all right, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Seeing it live, so I'm gonna kill it just as it comes. Uh, yeah, just as it comes in the frame. Let's see how it goes. Let's see the light go. Jeez, that was all right. It's a bit, a bit trippy. Yeah, it's alright still. Alright, man, I think I had enough fun here. I'm gonna move along. If I see something else along the river that I like, then I'll try to get it. Otherwise, I'm gonna try to get some like traffic, some bus and car trails and all that. But yeah, let's move along. Alright, uh, this is our next view. Can't really see too much. But we're by the water in Canary Wharf. And yeah, so I'm gonna try and get some reflection shots. I'm gonna move down there. There's Big Z, Big Easy there. And I'm gonna see if I can get a nice shot of Big Easy as well. So yeah, I'm gonna do these and then yeah, wrap up pretty much. So here, I really like the composition of these two boats. So I'm gonna try to get it right in the middle. Zoom in. And literally just try to get the two boats. As you can see, it's level. And yes, right now we've got on four seconds, F8, 400 ISO. Let's see how it comes out. So it comes out kind of bright, I'll show you on the screen. I got the sniffles right now bro. <laughs> I got the sniffles. So yeah, I'll play about the settings, try to get I'm gonna do F10 see if I can get more detail. Let's see how it goes. But it's pretty calm around here, you know? Yeah. Get one that's portrait. What am I doing? Yeah. Get one that's portrait. I'm gonna switch it like that. And then zoom out a bit. 
Let me see how it looks. Ooh, I like that, you know. I like that. Uh, I'm gonna do it for five seconds. That looks nice still. Nice little simple shot. Sorry if it's very dark. It is what it is. I need to play with the settings a bit more maybe. I'm gonna zoom out. Always gotta remember the uh, Instagram crop in it. I just gotta zoom out. But to be honest, soon enough I'm gonna put these on a I'm gonna put these on a website. Ah, cool, that looks calm. Now, uh, since I'm already in portrait, I'm gonna stay in portrait. Move over, look for a good composition. Let me just see what it looks like just in this direction here. See how that shows up. I'm gonna get a shot like this. We've got a building in there, looks kinda cool. The railing in the foreground. Okay, it's interesting. See, I like I like this here because look, you got the you got the rail in the foreground, so like the building behind creates depth. I feel like that's the focal point, and then obviously you got all the lights going across, all the lights going across like obviously for the pathway now. Isn't it? So let's see if I can get this to look proper. Got, got the twigs in there as well. That wasn't on purpose, but I don't mind it. Yeah, let's see how it works. Yeah, I'm feeling it, you know, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Uh, let me make it a bit F, F11. But yeah, man's feeling these pictures still. And that's what I'm saying, I'm torn between like, I'm torn between day and night, but I love both, so I'm gonna do both. But um, yeah, sometimes you want it to be brighter, but you don't want obviously the more higher the ISO is, the more grainy it's gonna get. So you wanna make it longer in terms of the the time of the shutter open. So then it's gonna be brighter, but the grain isn't gonna be so grainy. <laughs> the grain ain't gonna be grainy. So yeah, so that's looking nice. I actually really like that. I need to zoom out because if I want to put this on Instagram. Oh, you know what? The lights will actually make it better, you know. Yo, this is dope. I'm loving it. The lights will make it better. If I can just I wonder I don't want to uh -huh. see this is the bit you don't see on Instagram. I'm trying to figure out how to get this sitting right. Right, that should be good enough. Let's see how that works. It's not easy enough, I swear, photography is not easy. Oh, that's juicy. That's your edit on that, that's gonna look nice. Yeah, no, photography is not easy, man. You see the pictures online, like, oh, that's it, I could be a photographer, da, da, da. Yo, you gotta rate photographers. Rate my, rate my fellow photographers, car. We be out, it's freezing as well, you know, my hands, look. My hands are freezing, I've got one glove on. Uh, yeah, you got to rate the fellow photographer's car. People don't put enough respect on the photographer's names. So yeah, you got to rate us. Uh, I'm going to walk over to the Big Easy and just figure out the best angle. Say about hair. About hair. Look at the wall looking real okay. I might do a couple so. Ooh, that is looking juicy, you know. That is looking juicy. Alright. Um get closer. That is looking scrumptious. 
But these pictures, you know what I mean? It's sharp. Sometimes you can get away with being a blip berry. You just um work on it in Lightroom. You could do the noise reduction. And sometimes certain adjustments you make let, makes it less visible. I want to focus on a bit more, bit more portraits. Give me a bit more portraits. Cause this is looking juicy. And stuff like this, not that I necessarily love it, but where someone's in the frame. That's going to be unique compared to other shots. So I like that. So I literally just get that angle right. <laughs> we have these people in the frame. There's no light. If there was light on what they're under, like it's a little boat dinghy. Oh, they're literally in the water. Oh, that's mad. Let me see if you can see it. They're literally in the water. <laughs> been there pedaling. So I came up. Okay, you can, you can low key see them a little bit. But you'll see on the screen anyway. And yes, that was looking creamy. But yeah, this is the new thing. This is the new thing, man. The street photography thing. I do really like it, man. Like, it's fun. Oh, I love them blue still. Yeah, I really, I really like it still. Like, different angles, all sorts. You can get different scenes. That looks cool. I might even change the angle, aim at the bridge, see if it looks cool. And you know what? I'm gonna go towards Big Easy from a low shot like this. I don't know if it's gonna look good, but yeah, we'll have a look. All right, final location for the night. So we're here. I lined it up. Um, it's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted to get a crab as well, but. It's alright, there's like a red, you definitely can't see it, but there's basically underneath this crab highlight as well. I want to get it, um, so I've got it set at 3 seconds, F16, ISO 100. We'll get a train going past, see how that looks. But I like the reflection, that is kind of sick still. So you see something happening, you just keep on shooting, keep on shooting. And then one of them will turn out to be a banger. Another train crossing that one. Don't know if you can actually see that. But I'll put all these pictures up as usual. Boom, and there you have it. There you have it. So yes, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know below as well which one, which pictures you liked, and also what area you like me to go to next, so I know what the people want um but yeah like everything it's been a learning curve for me tonight just learning different things so but i don't mind because six months from now one year from now i'm going to be documenting this and then i'm going to be looking back one year ago and like raw like i've come a long way so that's it man like always come out and then yeah just like practice and it's why i don't mind documenting the practice documenting the mistakes because yeah like it just shows literally look raw like javan's come out here and then he's learning on the job and then he's getting better. I've learned something new today, you know what I mean? Hopefully you learn something new through watching me as well. And yeah, we're just gonna keep on improving, man. Like, we're not stopping, we're not stopping. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, like, comment, subscribe. And as always, stay up, stay blessed and let's get it. Yo, just tuning back in. Um, yeah, I wasn't really able to get the <laughs> get the pictures. It's a bit dark out here, isn't it? And I'll say it for another time. But I'll definitely do a I'll definitely do a Canary Wharf daytime street photography vlog because yeah, it's nice. And even like just the buildings. I want to get the buildings in the daytime as well. So yeah, we out. Go.